hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing today it is one from latest in beauty it's the ones to watch edition five the glow up this was released in october 2024 about a week and a couple of days from when i'm filming it ago it costs 36 pounds it's worth 244 they say i haven't checked it actually i should have done that I used the code OTW5FD10 and got 10% off plus free delivery, which took it down to £32.40. Now, it's still available at the time of filming, and that code does work. I just tried it out, but there might be better codes out there. Now, with this, you always get a leaflet with some limited information. There are 16 products in here, so there's not a great deal of info in the leaflet. There was more information on the latest in beauty website, which I've taken. And also I've taken instructions on how to use either from the packaging or from the brand's websites. So I better get a move on because there's so much stuff to get through. So the first one in here is by Pixie and it's the vitamin C sheet masks. And you get a set of three masks worth £10. Awaken and hydrate your skin instantly with these energizing sheet masks infused with vitamin C and caffeine. The vitamin C serum brightens while caffeine extracts firm and deep puff, promoting a more vibrant, enlivened glow. So with it's just a normal sheet mask, really. You take it out of its packaging. I used one earlier and there's no particular smell to it. I think I was expecting orangey smell being vitamin c but no there's no particular smell to it and you just put it on as you normally would after cleansing and leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes i'm trying to open it up here 10 to 15 minutes take it off and then pat in the excess serum you can keep it in the fridge if you want to although it's quite cold here at the moment so i did not need to do that it was still quite a <gasps> when i put it on love this love the fact that i've got three whenever i get a mask i always use it try it out before doing uh, my beauty vid video whether i do it that same day or the day before and it's nice to have a couple now i can put ready for use whenever i need them my face felt lovely afterwards it did leave a lot of excess serum on there to pat in and then i just left it to dry but it felt really nice did it look bright mm, look it looked as good as it could at my age okay the next product in here is the lunar daily the everywhere wash and this is 250 mils it's worth 14 pounds developed with thermobiome to balance nourish and protect the skin the hydrating lightly foaming shower gel is gently enough to use all over your body including your intimate areas without the risk of disruption to your ph balance so i quite like products like this i had one by dio doc which i really liked and that just had a gorgeous uh, smell to it as well this one it's nice to use it does lather up really rather well um i'm going to put a little bit i think on the back of my hand and then i might have to go and wash it off The smell, it's, that's interesting. It didn't smell like that when I used it earlier. Oh, it did a little, it, it reminds me of something from childhood or it could even be like a baby wash or a baby um, bath gel. It reminded me of bubbles for some reason. So I'm guessing it reminds me of some kind of bubble bath, but it is quite nice. It's light and gentle as you would expect something like that's going to be and i'm quite happy to have that okay the next item i didn't have to go and wash it off either it's left a rather nice smell the next item is by soak superfood skincare i've just put a little bit of uh, wash on that so apologies if that's on there this is the skin detox body bar in parsley stem it's only 20 grams but they do say it's a full size and it's four dollars 95 on the brand's website now i think this is an australian brand so it comes out as about two pound 50 for us in the uk formulated with parsley stem rich in vitamins a c and manganese it's detoxifying nutrients purify and restore the skin's natural equilibrium so i haven't opened this yet i shall do this now and see what i think she says trying desperately to open it it's 
quite tough packaging that i'm just i find packaging really hard these days half of it i have to get scissors out or do something with it so here we go as i'm struggling to do it oh so it is actually that's quite cute isn't that i like that i'm not sure on the smell that is that is a bit of a weird smell I, I like it but i'm not sure i like it as a soap but i quite fancy putting that in the downstairs loo i think that looks gorgeous because it says soak i don't know whether you can see it on there but yeah that's a downstairs loo thing okay next is it's probably a waste you're meant to be using it on your body aren't you but i still think it's a downstairs loo thing skin doctors cosmeceuticals radiance and renew this is 50 mils now i think this is the most expensive thing in the box it's worth 49 pounds this is an overnight multi-active resurfacing cream that gently removes dead skin to reveal a clearer glowing complexion inspired by professional chemical peels it combines alpha alpha and beta hydroxy acids to target signs of aging and even texture pigmentation blem blemishes and blocked pores without harsh scrubbing so i think it has got um lactic acid um glycolic i think as well and um salicylic that's just coming off the top of my head so i've probably got it wrong and to use it, you cleanse your face at night time thoroughly and then pat dry and apply a smooth, thin, even layer of cream over your face or your treatment area for, sens for sensitive skin. Begin using once or twice a week to build tolerance and gradually increase usage. A slight tingling sensation is normal. If you experience a severe sensation, discontinue use and they do suggest a patch test with this one. Remember with AHAs, they may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun, so make sure you wear sunscreen uh, whilst you're using this product. And I think they say something like a week afterwards as well, don't they, with um, AHAs. Always look it up, though, is the best thing. So I have given this a go. I was a little bit concerned, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to just use it on my forehead, which is my, my stronger area that I use things that are... Sorry, that was right by the mic, so that's going to make a heck of a noise. Um, this is where I use products that I'm a little bit scared of. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's obviously beautifully packaged. It feels nice and luxy and that's what it looks like it's quite thick looking i think you can probably see where i took some out yesterday and it's much thicker than i expected it to be so i'm going to put some on the back of my hand now i felt the tingling on this so and because i'm used to things up here that makes me think that if you're not used to products like this please do test them out first because it made my forehead tingle and also have that slight itchiness to it as well and that's made me think I'm not using it on my cheeks because they are quite sensitive and if I do use something a little bit stronger I always get a bit of a reaction now I didn't get a reaction up here I got the tingling I got slight itchiness but it stayed as it was it didn't go red or blotchy or anything like that so I think I can use it up here and I'll probably be able to use it on my chin which is where I would tend to use um, this this is my more greasier area where i have blemishes more so than anywhere else i do get spots here i've got some at the moment but i think they're more hormonal spots even though i'm at the upper part of the menopause bit but you know okay next is by restored the pimple patches so this is one set of 20 patches introducing stress-free sm smile face hydrochlor colloid and 1% salicylic acid pimple patches in five different colors designed to reduce the appearance of blemishes overnight. So you apply these after cleansing directly to dry skin on the affected area before using serums and moisturizer. Leave on for six plus hours overnight best remove and cleanse. So I haven't actually had a look at these. I'm quite excited because I think they're going to be quite colorful and bright. Oh, here you go. Oh, they're quite cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because I do use these sorts of things overnight. Um, I might there is one round here somewhere that I might have a go with this, 
they do tend to you uh, work for me so hopefully these will as well but i just think I, i'm gonna look a bit strange walking around the house with these on at night time but you know it's not what you look like it's what the result is okay next uh is by lumine and it's the nord i'm putting the lid back on that moisturized by skin doctors because it's off and i don't like it. it's making me feel a bit mm. lumine nordic sea glow boost essence this is only eight mils though uh, it's worth £9.68. So 30 mils of this is £36.50. So that actually does sound about right, the price they've given, the, the value they've given to it. This energizes and boosts glow for brighter looking, intensely hydrated skin, containing a unique radiance enhancing blend with berry extra, extract from antioxidant rich wild arctic cloudberry and vitamin c combined and two types of hyaluronic acid for instant and lasting hydration that was a long sentence it isn't even over yet this super concentrated serum works to promote the appearance of more youthful looking skin that feels plumper smoother and looks more radiant i think that must be the longest sentence i've ever read you apply to face and neck after cleansing for best results follow with moisturizer so I have used this, I've had this before in the full size version. And I have to say, I really do like this product. I feel like I'm sitting a bit low today, you know. I feel like my head's a bit too far down. So there we go, just adjust slightly. So this is a bit strange. If you look on the packaging, there's like a pipette showing. So I'm thinking, is it some kind of refill? But it is very small to be a refill so i'm just guessing it's kind of a sample size i don't know um with a reasonable value to it it's got this in it a little paddle thing so i don't know whether you're supposed to scoop it out and put it into your hand or something i actually had a spare pipette that i just finished another vitamin c product and thought well i'll just wash that out a bit and use that well, there's a dog hair on there now so i used it with this i'll just oh that smells so good honestly this is one of the most nicest smelling vitamin c products ever i think it's my favorite actually in terms of smell um i don't know whether you can see it there it is what it is really it's a serum it blends in beautifully with the hyaluronic acid i always think that makes it just expand out and be amazing and the smell is very orangey perfect for me love it okay next we have a tan product which is a bit unusual at this time of year but something i like this is by now i don't know how you pronounce this i'm guessing lusso tan rapid tan mousse it's 200 ml so it's a big size 24 pounds on the brand's website so with this one it is a mousse you pump it out um put on with a tanning glove and leave it on for one hour before rinsing for a light glow two hours for a medium glow and three hours for a deep dark tan it's perfect for first time tanners experimenting with their desired depth or for those who prefer a lighter tan during the week and a darker glow for the weekend so I've got something, well, a mousse. I had a mousse, a completely different brand over the summer, and I loved it. It's much the, my preferred way of applying tan now, especially to my arms. To be honest, that's the only place I do apply this kind of tan. I don't do my legs. They probably just look sparkling. Start, what's that word when they're just overly white? But I don't do my legs anymore because they're not, they're not as not i don't put them on show i wear very long skirts so this is what it looks like i have used it yesterday and today and yeah i quite liked it now i did three pumps and that covered my both my arms more than enough probably i only needed two pumps i reckon yesterday i left it for about just over two hours and washed it off and today i left it just for an hour but i think it has given i mean you obviously can't see the before and after but i do see that it has given me quite a decent little glow 
um, I'm just wondering whether I'm scared to pump it out, but let's just do a tiny bit just so you can see. It is dark, so what it does do, which is good, is show you where you have applied it so that you make sure that you rub it in. You can see where any streaks are, any lines, and you can hopefully, I got them all, I had to look in the mirror. But yeah, and I like getting things like that over winter because I will still keep up my arms tanned. I will still keep up my face using uh, self tans. I won't, I still won't do my legs because I'll be wearing boots in winter. Okay, so I'm actually happy with that and more happy. Gosh, I, I nearly put a bit of that on the desk. I'd be in serious trouble. More so happy because you actually get one of these with it. So this is by the same brand, Lusso Tan Tanning Mitt. It's eight pounds on their website. It's a double-sided velvet tanning mitt, mitt for professional results at home. It ensures a smooth, soft and streak free free finish so I didn't use this one I used the tanning mitt that I've got at the moment I'll probably save this one for next summer because I like to have one in store um, ready to use this is this is actually gorgeous that feels really beautiful it's got a little label on it I like it it's a nice one hmm. okay next we have got Woo Woo Goddess Body Glow Cream. This is 150 mils and it's worth £12. Formulated with powerful ingredients such as artichoke, leaf, peptides and caffeine to improve skin elasticity and reduce the appearance of cellulite, giving you firmer, smoother skin. So I used this last night. Um, I always use body cream on my legs and my arms before I go to sleep and I did I use it today? I haven't used it today. I was going to use it today, but I forgot. So let's give it a go on my arm now. Now it is, good. It is a sort of a tinted looking one and it is meant to give you a glow. So while I was putting it on my legs last night, I did think I'm probably wasting it and should be using it on my arms. Oh yes, it is working. Can you see that? Just give me a bit of a glow. I like that. It smells of chocolate. I think it's white chocolate it smells of. It's it's chocolate. It is chocolate. It's really nice. So because it's for cellulite, it probably would be better for me on my legs, but I might use it on my arms because I quite I think there is a glow there, isn't it? I'll have to watch the video back and see. Okay, next we have Mr. Bright Teeth Whitening Strips. So this doesn't have, I don't think this has much of a value because it's just one strip, I think. Peroxide free and perfect for sensitive teeth. These convenient strips will effortlessly brighten your teeth and the travel friendly sachets make it easy to maintain your pearly whites wherever you go. So you use on clean, dry teeth for 30 minutes for best results. Latest in Beauty actually said you could do it for 10, but the packaging says 30. So I'd go with that. Rinse away any excess gel after use. I have used teeth whitening strips before. They're not my favourite. I prefer the ones that you um, are like in a pen and you put on that way. So I'll probably pass these on to somebody else, I think. I've got some already that I still haven't used. Okay, now this is an interesting one. These are, I think these are um, apple cider vinegar complex by Nutravita and they're capsules. So there's 180 capsules in here worth £16.99. A superior supplement containing a thousand milligrams of apple cider vinegar with added cayenne pepper, turmeric and ginger root. So this is a 90 day supply. Apple cider vinegar is believed to have potential benefits for gut health thanks to its ability to balance the pH levels in the digestive system. Some studies also suggest that it may have an antimicrobial properties that could help with certain digestive issues, but more research is needed to confirm these findings. So with these, you take two capsules daily with a full glass of water. Do not exceed stated dose. So you need to make sure you have plenty of water when you're taking these. Now, I am intrigued by these. I do You have your cult for my gut health. Um, 
but I always end up forgetting about it. So it goes a little bit, you'll always have like about two of them left that have gone out of date. So I'm kind of intrigued to try these out. Um, the only problem I've got is that they really do smell of vinegar. It's like opening, oh my goodness, mate, I'm not joking. They smell of vinegar, which I suppose is understandable and fair enough. But it's going to, that's why you have to drink a full glass of water, I think, to take the taste away. But I am still intrigued. I am going to give them a go. I'll let you know how I get on. I've just got to try and remember to take them, as is always the problem with me and supplements. So next we have got Nail Kind Natural Nail Polish in Bubblegum. So this is £8.95 on the brand's website. This bubblegum shade is all about pink, 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 an unconventional rosy hue for the modern day pink lady. It's easy to apply, quick dry formula, gentle on nails. This is a lovely, lovely nail varnish to use. It went on so smoothly, dried quickly. I could probably have gotten away, gotten away, that's Scooby-Doo, I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for your, you pesky kids. I could have gotten away with one, sorry, I don't know what I do sometimes, one coat of this, relax, but I ended up having two. And then I've done a little topper on that one, as you can see, a little metallic topper, that's from Essie. Um, I've got a whole range of their metallic toppers, I love them. But this is a great one as well. I'm happy with this. It's not the sort of colour I would tend to normally wear in autumn, but one of my autumn dresses is green with little pink bits in it, so it does go quite well with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's lovely. I'll show you actually what the brush looks like because the brush is one of those beautiful thick brushes. So I always prefer those to the thin ones. Okay, next is makeup gallery wing it black felt liner so this is a full size but i have absolutely no idea on how much it's worth i couldn't find it properly on the i think i saw it on ebay or somewhere like that but nowhere that i could get a definitive price for it the long lasting felt liner creates the perfect wing that's quick and easy with its fast drying and high pigment formula be prepared to keep your wings looking sharper than ever now as everyone who watches me knows i don't do wings they don't work on my old eyes anymore they just it, they just spread if i go out too far um but i have got it on as you can probably see it is quite intense <laughs> so if you're not used to liquid eyeliners i would be very cautious with it um it didn't do a very thin line so i had to go in with one of my other eyeliners just right in the corner it was quite thick and as you can see it is nicely pigmented though and it hasn't caused any of that you know when it sometimes goes onto the top of your lid so far i've only had it on a couple of hours but so far i don't think there's any transfer up there so yes it is nice i think you probably could get a thin line with it if you're better than me yeah i think you can but i do i do struggle with doing the thin lines unless it's my good old faithful two-faced one but i'm going to stop for a second because i can feel a dog hair that's kind of made its way to my lip i'll be back in a sec right the next product now i love this this is by emmeline it's one of their eyeshadow creams in the shade atlas peak and this is worth 24 pounds this is a shimmering silver inspired by the atlas mountains it offers a metallic finish acting as a primer and buildable shadow with no crease smudge or fade it provides a lightweight multi-dimensional glow glow from day to night to use it you get a tapered brush to apply the cream onto lids just a little or for a subtle finish or layering on for a more high voltage look now there was another song i could have sung then but i'm not going to i actually put it on with my fingertip it's in one of their little cute pots with the little e on the top with lots of little finger marks as well and then it's got the, the little lid thing that you pull off and that's what it looks like i really like this i mean this is the sort of shade i wouldn't normally wear because i normally wear those sort of orangey 
brown goldy ones which I'm not sure this would go with and today I've gone with quite a subtle I think pink look which you probably can't see at all this is what it looks like though look at that I really like that so I have got it on in the middle of my lid and I don't know whether you can see that I can't see it but I'm sure you might be able to tell but I really really like it so I'm happy with that we got another one the other week I think it must have been in the latest in beauty box um that was like a gold but it was quite a dark bronzy gold I think and yeah it wasn't quite right for me but I like this and it means I'm probably going to experiment with some other colors okay next we get another makeup product it is by bella pierre and it's the loose mineral brush blush even um in shade dessert desert not dessert i'm just thinking that i want some dessert desert rose worth 20 pounds suitable for all skin skin types it's a great way to define your cheekbones and your and brighten your face a creamy mineral blush to give you a beautiful healthy flush that looks natural and leaves you glowing tap a small amount of powder into the lid of the product using it as a palette then dip your brush into the loose powder and tap the end of it on a surface to remove any excess and apply to your cheekbones so this is what it looks like now i don't really know how i'm going to show you this oh hang on it is coming out a little bit yeah there's some still on the top from when i used it uh let's put it there oh i don't know whether you can see that you can't see that very well let's pop it on my arm i think i've got enough here it's very it's, you can't see it that well when i put it on it did feel like it was obvious and i have got it on today sort of around here it's nice it's a good shade for me i like it it's not too much and it just gives that hint of flush as they say okay it's a bit of a faff to use that's the only thing if i was in a rush i wouldn't use it but i'll probably use it on days when i'm not rushing then finally in here we get a product by studio 10 which is the perfect blondes bronze <laughs> so, i don't know what's wrong with me today bronze glow plexion this is 15 mils worth 26 pounds for an all year round healthy flush of sun kissed color and warmth with a soft focus glow that enhances the features so there's different ways you can apply this one you can do it straight on your skin or over your foundation deeply hydrating silky smooth this ultra light liquid blends seamlessly and uh, creating a streak free true skin finish that can be built up for a deeper customized color for a soft veil of healthy colour mixed with your moisturiser or day cream, give skin an ultra natural tan by sweeping in the shape of a reversed three over forehead, cheekbones and jawline and down the bridge of the nose. Apply it as a wash to eyelids or as a brightening eyeshadow or create a top to toe tan and glow by mixing with body moisturiser. I went off there. I was sort of going off on my own conversation in my head, but uh, I haven't finished reading it. So I quite like this. I've actually got a blush, a liquid blush by this brand, which I use a lot. That's one of the ones I use an awful lot. And mainly I did in the summer because it gave that kind of, I don't know, that slight sunburnt look to it. But this is really nice. Now I have used it as per usual in my sort of 80s, 90s, child, teen, 20s way, round about here. That's where I always use my bronzers. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's really nice. I had to pat it out a lot, as you can see. It is a glowy one. So I don't know whether you can, if I just go slightly more sideways. So that's sort of there, and then the blushes there. And then I've got a lighter highlighter on top. That's how I do it. I probably do it wrong. I just can't get out of old habits. Do you know what I mean? Anyway that's the end of the box I think that's a pretty good box I wasn't sure when I saw it but there are certain things in here that I really love I love pixie anyway as a brand I love getting sheet masks I love getting nail polish I love getting makeup and I particularly love the Emmeline eyeshadow um, but all of the makeup's nice so yeah I'm happy and interested to try the the supplements 
and also I liked getting the tan and the meat so it is a really good box for me um, and the price I think is pretty good as well it was just over £32 wasn't it with the code I used so I'm happy with this box now a very quick update on life and things I'm just going to pause for a moment because I want to show you something I'll be back in a sec so I don't know how this is going to work but I'm not doing an unboxing by the way I just want to show you that I got that candle advent calendar I was on about last week from John Lewis so it's got 12 candles in here and I decided I just couldn't resist it and I am going to open one per week so I started off this week with number one and I'm going to try and remember to show you each one per week this is the first one I had which was by Neon and I don't know what fragrance it is but it's extremely autumnal it smells of smoke with a bit of cinnamon and a bit of orange in it that sort of smell to me but I love the um the glass on it as well so that was number one I'm going to open number two tomorrow and from there on in I'm going to try and open every Sunday so hopefully I'll remember to show you what's in each um day i don't know whether i just showed you it open but there you go exciting i love advent calendars i'll be back in a sec i think the main reason i did that is because i'm getting so excited about advent calendars and not being able to open them yet because i'm not going to yet um i might get one for november to open i'm just so excited i had to get something to start opening now there was another thing out this week yesterday i think which might have been the day before from asos i don't know whether any of you are on asos i do use asos to get clothes for my son mainly and i've got one of their um next day delivery things that you buy each year so i do look for some of their beauty boxes perfume boxes things like that i got a perfume one it's a bag really um it was 25 pounds it actually looks really nice so that's on the way today it might even be here now i'm going to pop down and look in a minute and if it's here i'll quickly come up and show you um there are a load of expensive boxes coming out look fantastic's beauty vault which by the way looks fabulous but i'm not getting it um there was one from court beauty they're all over 100 pounds though and i just want to get the advent calendars at the moment they do look there are some fabulous ones out my leg my leg was hurting quite badly um, at the beginning of the week um, I think I must have pulled a muscle or something it's starting to get a little bit better but every now and then because it's getting better you forget that it there's a problem so you go and do something silly and then it hurts again so I'm trying to just remember that it hurts and be very cautious at the moment which I find extremely difficult but hopefully my leg's getting better if my leg gets better I'm going to be a happy bunny so this week I've got a day off work on I because where I work you have like flex time so you can build it up and because I did a lot of work a couple of weeks ago I've built up an, a lot of hours so I'm having Wednesday off I work Monday to Wednesday normally and I'm having Wednesday off and I'm going to use it as a day of beauty a day to stock take on my beauty stuff and sort it all out normally after I've done a few videos I'll sort out the boxes and things I'm going to use things I'm going to give away and all that sort of thing put in the right place and I haven't done it for about five videos so i've got a lot to sort so it's been lovely um it's been a nice week i've had a nice week with the aurora borealis did i say that right i don't actually i don't as i was saying that i was thinking i don't even know what it's called aurora borealis i think is the correct word uh that was around and i'm really annoyed because i missed it and it was definitely around here because I saw it on social media, people taking pictures all over the place. And then I'm thinking, well, how come I didn't see it? I missed it. I did have a look that the night it was on, I think it was Friday. Um, yeah, and I, it wasn't anything to see when I looked. I think it was a bit early though. And then yesterday I thought, well, I'll have a look tonight. And then there wasn't one last night that I could see. I bet everyone else will say, yes, there was, you missed it again. I missed the last one as well so I don't know I'd love to see it um but yeah 
it's been an okay it's been an okay week actually and i saw my friend the other day and we put the world to rights and we realized that you know friendships are really it's a it's a good thing it's a good thing to have people that you can let your feelings out to you know with your family you put on a certain persona in a way they know you but you you are that i don't know that wife that mother that girlfriend whatever that daughter but sometimes you just want to be that other part of yourself which i think you can only be or i can only be really with my friends which is mainly because no one wants to hear me wittering on about half the things that i'm interested in um but that was nice and we thought we do you do need to take more time for yourself i think so that's my thing for this week take more time for myself to think the way i want to think and think about beauty and all that sort of thing that i can't really talk about with anyone apart from you and my friends and um but that's about it anyway if it's been rushed i'm really sorry i am rushing a bit because i've got to go out shopping now so i have got a real tight time frame and i can see it's 35 minutes so i've probably gone over my time frame anyway but do you know what 16 products that was quite quick for me anyway i'm going to send you a ton of love actually before i do that i'm going to see if that perfume arrived i'll be back in a sec okay well that was a mistake it hasn't been delivered and i hurt my leg hurtling down the stairs never mind um it's a nice looking little perfume thing the main reason i got it it's got a sol de janeiro one of their body spray things which is the blue one i'm not sure i've had that before so that's met one of the reasons it sort of enticed me um but anyway i hope see i'm all out of breath now as well i hope compose myself that you have a wonderful wonderful week i'm going to send you loads and loads of positive energy i can feel it flowing it's got aurora borealis energy coming through into it and hopefully you'll have a fab week and i'll see you again here really soon bye bye